Hey, how's everyone doing? Today's video, I just want to show everyone how to change your background automatically on an iPad or iPhone. Now, this can be set to different times of the day. Today, I just want to show you how it would look. Yeah, so right now you can see I'm changing it with the shortcuts. It's a quick and simple tutorial, just in case anybody wants to do this. I have mine to change like about twice a day. So first thing you're gonna need is obviously photos. So whatever photos you wanna use on your iPad or iPhone, you need to have them already set. So what we're gonna do is once you have that all together, then we're gonna go to your photos and create a album. So I'm just gonna create a call, I'm gonna call it test. All right, so I'll add this photo just for now. You can add as many as you want. So this is just, I'm just adding one right now. So now you go to your shortcut tab. You're gonna search for find photos. Okay, so once you do that, make sure you hit limit and you put the limit one photo, since you're gonna have one wallpaper at a time. And you're gonna look where it says recent, you're gonna look for the album that you created. So I'll just search in test. There it is. All right, there you go. So I searched in test. Now let's see, you're going to, okay, that's all done. Now we don't, we don't need to click there. Let me just get rid of that. And that's it, I believe for this section here. All right, now let's go to the next part. All right. So now this is where you're going to need to, hold on a second, I believe, let me change the name real quick. So I'm just going to put it to test, that way I already know which shortcut I'm looking for. So you can do this while you're creating the actual shortcut itself too, you don't have to do it afterwards. All right, so now you go to automation. So you're going to hit create personal auto automation you're gonna select time of day. You're gonna change the time to whatever time you want it to go to. So I'll just put 12.30. Hit next. Now this part here, all you gotta do is search in run shortcut. After you hit run shortcut, you are then going to select ask before run. You're gonna put don't ask. That way it does it automatically. Hit done. And that's pretty much it. There's not much else to it. So now it's going to be done automatically. You see the other ones there are mine. So thank you. Like and subscribe.